Hi, I'm Daniel Oliver. I'm a social entrepreneur, an independent social enterprise advisor, and also a researcher in the area. And I've been working in social enterprise probably for the last five years. Um, been lucky to work with some great people, and before that, I was working in sustainability with business, community, and also public sector for about seven years. Now, why am I here? Well, um, I think quite a while ago, I started to think about what I'd like to see change in the world and how I could do it. And liking the idea that maybe I could pay the bills out of it as well. And for quite a while, it took me, it took me quite a few different approaches to find that. But now, um, I've found an approach to business that I find really exciting. I think it's a great idea. If we want to see something in the world change, and we think that we can make that happen, and we can earn money to do that, and do that in a really fair and equitable way, then social enterprise is an amazing approach for that. More and more people are understanding that this is a great approach to business, and a way of being the change that they want to see in the world. So I'm really excited about being here in Bristol and the west of England and also the southwest in general because we've got such a great sector, we've got such a great sense of community, but also we've got a really wide range of people who work in all kinds of different areas. Decision makers in corporates, people who are really senior in public sector, people in communities, people in the grassroots who really want to take a different approach to changing this city or at least building on some of the strengths that we already have. And so more and more people are starting up social enterprises. And this is a great approach to doing things because you get to realize the potential in you, the potential in your friends, your co-workers, in doing something that you're really engaged and inspired by. And so what we have in Bristol is a really thriving sector. We've just done the first economic baseline mapping of it, and that found that it employs almost 11,000 people. It has 378 million turnover, and that has grown significantly in the last few years. National statistics show that social enterprise is stronger in job creation and also training opportunities for mainstream SMEs. So the business case for this approach to business is growing. I think some of the barriers maybe are that people don't necessarily understand what social enterprise is about. They think it's maybe just something that gives people a nice warm cuddly feeling inside or it's just a funded activity or something nice if you don't fancy doing a real job. And what people increasingly start to understand that compared to the mainstream economy, that this approach to business is outperforming it. And that's really startling realization because there's hard statistics to back that up. Now in Bristol, we've gone from a very strong social economy. and We now have a real influx of new people and new social entrepreneurs coming from communities with ideas about how they want to change their communities they're creating a business about and creating jobs for themselves and jobs for people in that community, but also addressing social needs, addressing environmental needs, and also creating some of the jobs and growth that we're really struggling to find at the moment nationally. So I'm here today to launch the Bristol and Bath Social Enterprise Network, something that we've identified as a real need for in this sector, and it's key to have the right infrastructure and support to mean that social enterprises can grow quickly, but also we can work with a range of sectors and different people on a basis of mutual interest to get things done. And I really like doing that because I really like working with a whole range of different people. I like working with people who come from all sorts of different backgrounds and come from very different worlds and bringing them together and seeing what can be done. And there's some really interesting, really interesting partnerships and really interesting projects that come from that. But let's say a few things about social enterprises business as in it's still something you really have to work hard at. Just because you have an amazing social purpose and great intent doesn't mean you're going to succeed. You still have to be just as rigorous, maybe even more rigorous than someone who's starting up a different form of business that isn't about social purpose. And so make sure you do it lean, make sure you do it sensible. You know, take all the steps, get all the advice you can, draw in the people who know more about you in different areas and get them to help you and support you because that's the beauty of it. You can learn through people and actually people will come together around something which they believe in. And increasingly we're seeing that. And so the Bristol and Bath Social Enterprise Network the purpose of it, I think, is about that kind of brokerage role. It's about looking at, scanning the horizon and looking at some of the opportunities out there which we can work on together. Looking at what's what needed to realize some of those opportunities. Supporting businesses to upskill into that space. Creating new partnerships and new projects that can really deliver on civic outcomes and also just make people's jobs easier. You know, there's some great businesses out there. Actually, it's a real struggle to find the time to look at some of the bigger picture stuff and to do all the research and the background and have always a preliminary chat. And so that's what we're there for. But what's really important for us is that people come to us and tell us what's important for them and what their business needs. And we've already been doing that in planning this network. 
and we did a really good thorough approach to engaging all stakeholders and talking to some key people from the sector about what's really needed. But that conversation is always ongoing and that's a key way which we will survive and will be genuinely inclusive and will be genuinely useful is through our members and through the sector coming to us and actually telling us what's needed. So I think we're in a really good position to show real leadership nationally in social enterprise and draw down more investment, more funding into this region, deliver some great projects and some things we can be really, really proud of and we'll create some national case studies, um, but also just to work with communities and bring more people together to do good business. Um, but that's dependent on everyone being really engaged and clear and just wanting to work together to make something happen. And so I'm really proud to be part of that and I hope I can continue to be for the next few years. And um, I look forward to hearing more from you all and um, watching it all grow.